acting like that, like, and you know you act like that, and you still act like that, bye. You stop my post, you didn't like my picture, hater. Just stop doing this, talk, 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 and start doing like, talk, baby, do that for real. Talk on friends and they ex. Oh, absolutely, positively not. They say if they do it once, they could do it again. Disrespect your boundaries, let them know. They do it again, they got to go. Like, this video real. is a collab with my good friend Amaya. Her channel will definitely be in the link description below. Please check out her channel. Please watch her videos to the Girl Talk as well. She could probably see a little bit more than me because that girl going to college, y'all. She going to college. Make sure y'all go check my girl out. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lissy here, and I'm back again with another video. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a little girl talk or whatever. I posted on my Instagram, I was trying to give me some girl talk questions, and y'all definitely came through with the questions. So I'm just going to be scrolling through on my phone and just answering as many questions as I can because y'all definitely came through. Not too much talking. Let's just get right okay. to it. So, first one says thoughts on relationships. It'd be real if it's real life. I feel like it's really, it's a really good learning experience, especially when you're young. It's a good opportunity for you to learn what you like and what you don't like. Once you start, I'm about to like teens. So once you start like older and like the relationship start being like more serious or whatever. You already know what you like you don't like it, you're not new to it. So I just feel like that's really my thoughts for relationships. Like it really depends on who you're talking to. It really depends on who you relationship with. You, how well you know yourself, how well, it's like so many dynamics because some relationships really breaking people and they're teen years and they just can't live for real or whatever. Just can't live for real. And some help people grow as a person. It really depends on who you are. Here's my thoughts for real. Thoughts on friends and they ex. Oh, absolutely, positively not. That's crazy for real. Like, that's just weird to me. Like, at all people in the world, your friend ex, like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's just, I don't know how somebody would ask for that. What you mean? Like, like why do we have to think about that for real? How to set boundaries with people? Oh, how to set boundaries with other people? I feel like you once you get your boundary, boundaries, you need to stand on your boundaries. If, if you're not standing on your boundaries, that's just basically giving the person permission to just keep running over it because they feel like they do it again. They feel like if they do it once, they could do it again, and that's just real. Like that's how people are for real. Many people really respect you and your boundaries. We really need to stand on like they disrespect your boundaries. Let them know they do it again. They got to go like for real. And if they're not respecting your boundaries, you can't force nobody to do nothing. So what you can do is cut them off out your life. You ain't gotta deal with that again. I know it's easier said than done, but that's just the real. Like that's what you gotta do. How to tell somebody you're not interested? Maybe you asking the wrong person. Cause I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I ghosting. Like. Now you gotta communicate, like to be for real, for real, you gotta learn how to communicate with people of what you don't like, you don't wanna talk to no more. But me personally, if you just get boring, I don't wanna talk no more and I'm not gonna respond no more. Text somebody like, yeah, I'm not really interested. Maybe we should be friends. We know we're not finna be no friends, like we're really done. But for real, for real, like, I just find you gotta communicate. That's coming from me, like, I know I need to communicate, I take my own advice, for real, for real. But if you love people that you're not interested in a friendship, a relationship, a job, all that, communicate for real. I didn't give a boy. I can't even tell you because I don't really care for him. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like I don't I don't really care. I don't know, like I feel like I'm saying the basic like focus on yourself, find different hobbies, like, yeah, okay, but it's easier said than done. Everything is easier said than done. You know, so it depends like how long y'all been talking or together or whatever, like, I feel like you gotta slowly back away. Slowly back away. Some people go back to the can no more. I don't really recommend that. People got different methods for real, y'all. I say slowly back away. It's hard, because I just want to be talking to people that y'all need to be talking to. But hey. How did I convince my mom to let me wear crop tops? I didn't have to. Um, I think she actually started asking me about wearing crop tops. Because I just knew I was 12 and she was like, I don't know, she gonna find me something, something like that, I don't know. I didn't have to convince my mama, people's parents are different. I didn't have to convince my mama to win a day on crop tops or nothing like that. I just did, and it was just cool or whatever, like, for real. How to get more productive. <laughs> Somebody didn't tell me how to get more productive. Y'all seen last time for the YouTube video? Oh, I need to be more productive, but y'all see me now, period. But I feel like what helps me be more productive is making to-do lists, making planners, and actually sticking to it, like, 
none of that talk baby do that for real like come on so you need to write down so you can do it online i do mine online but yes make a to-do list make that plan your pound your days the day before pound your week before the start of the week all that like get to it like nothing's gonna just come to you sitting down whatever it's not gonna do nothing and my thing is the reason why i be like holding off of doing things is because i know it's gonna get done and that's my problem now and i'm the type of person i like stuff to get done beforehand so yeah best age to get a boyfriend i feel like once high school start once high school start i feel like just because like a little fun or whatever like nothing serious nothing serious at all my biggest advice is don't take nobody freaking serious when you're in high school if i'm being quite honest with you because especially when you're 14 like them little boys don't know nothing they're not gonna do nothing like be for real be for real that stuff is so weird hair growth tips Y'all, I literally can't tell y'all, like, I'm so serious. Like, I don't do nothing specifically to grow my hair. That's just how my hair is. And I'm being honest, I don't even think my hair that long, for real. It's like mid, like, because I be cutting my hair. But, like, I'm, I'm not gatekeeping nothing. Like, I don't even have a hair care routine, for real. Like, all I do is wash my hair and then co-wash my hair. I wash my hair every other week, and then the week I'm not washing my hair, I'm co-washing my hair. That's the best thing I can give you. I don't, like I don't. I'm not trying to grow my hair out or nothing. I'm very fine with the length of my hair. I'm getting to doing like my own hair like this anyway. So it doesn't matter how long my hair is because I'm not going nowhere. If somebody asks me skincare tips, I promise you, I do not have a skincare routine. I don't have a hair care routine. And that's probably bad, but I promise you I don't. It's literally called genetics. And I ain't finna tell y'all the same stuff other people be telling y'all like drink water, do this, do that. Like I do drink a lot of water. But I don't know that's because that's why my skin like that. My skin always been like this. I feel like it's just genetics for real. I do not have a skincare routine. I do not have a bunch of skincare products or nothing. Like, I don't do that to my skin. Maybe you need to leave it alone. Because some people put a, a bunch of different products and stuff in your skin. So your skin don't know what to do or how to react. You got to be doing, like, different stuff every week. So I new. I'd say stick to a regimen or something. Like, if you have an acne or something, stick to, like, a regimen. For real, find like what works for you and stop mixing and matching stuff because your skin don't know how, what to do or how to react for real. I would stop feeling insecure. I don't know. I've never really been in that position, but the best thing that I can tell you is stop following people that you want to be like. Follow people that's like, look like you already. Like if you're following a bunch of people that you're not like and you just wish to be like, that's probably gonna see your feet. It's literally, you're literally damaging your brain. Like, oh, I wish I look like this. Like, stop following the type of people that you want to look like and want to be like. Unless it has to do with goals and lives, like people that's rich than you, make more money than you, trying to be like that, and you can exist from them, yeah. But you find people with different body types than you that because you want to look like that, maybe I'll follow because that's not doing no good for you. You're not feeling sorry to look like them just because you're looking at them. Getting on your Zoom. Y'all, we have to get on our Zoom. Like, you got to start. I just say start being productive. Start making them to-do lists. Start being proactive, start taking initiatives to everything. Like, that's how you get in your Zoom for real. Like, you need to start doing this talk, 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 and start doing it. Like, that's my biggest thing. People, like, I hear people talk, oh, I want to do this or do that. You're not taking no action. Like, you want to do this so bad. No, you don't for real, because you don't take no action for real. And that's how you get in your Zoom. Stop all that talk and start acting on what you want to do. Get in motivation. Okay, I feel like you could be start. It's really like, yeah, everything is literally in your mind, in your head. Like, getting motivation, that's a mindset. You need to start following people who have this motivation. I give you tips. I watch videos and everything about things you want to do to get mo so you can get motivated. Like, getting motivation is really in your head. Like, everything is, I just feel like, I, I just feel like everything is a freaking mindset. The position that you are is literally freaking a mindset. I don't want to say too much, but everything is a mindset. Like, you want to get into nursing, making your mindset, it will come. Like, you can't just be thinking and stuff. Like, you actually got to be proactive and everything. But, like, everything is a mindset. You got to keep going. Like, don't stop. Like, I know you probably heard this before, do that, but that's, like, dead for real. Like, you got to do that, do that. Red flags in a person, baby. I could go on. Okay. Y'all talking about friends or relationships? Let's do both. Let's talk about friends. Red flags are friends. Being a freaking hater. Like, it might not be out loud, but you like them sounds for real. Like, 
not liking your, I feel like the list, I, maybe that's a me problem, but I just feel like the list of like, hater vibes, like, you saw my post, you didn't like my picture, hater, you didn't comment, hater, slick comments, hater, like, maybe that's just me though, maybe that's just me, I don't know, it really be like slick stuff, like, maybe you gotta go with that, I don't know, I like to surround myself by certain people, and it's probably like kind of rude or whatever, but I just feel like if you're not doing nothing to get to the goals that you want to be at, you can't be around me because I just feel like that type of energy rubs off on you. And I don't want to be like that, so you keep that somewhere else if I'm being quite honest with you. I just feel like you shouldn't be around friends that's not doing the actions they need to take in order to reach their goals, especially us being so young like baby girl. You got no type of excuse for real. I don't care. You, I just feel like nobody has no excuse. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just feel like you don't need to be around people that's just angry all the time. Like, girls, get your energy somewhere else. I'm so dead. I'm so dead serious right now. Like, always mad. Always angry. People that don't like to change. Like, maybe I said you stop acting like that. There's people who don't like to grow. Like, like to change. Like, you act like that. That hurt my feelings. That's your friend's feelings. You still acting like that. Like, and you know you act like that and you still act like that, bye. Like you have no type of self growth and that's just weird to me. Be real with yourself. I feel like red flags don't only mean stuff that's directed towards you or what people do to you. Red flags is also what you see people act like towards others. Like I don't wanna be around people who mean to other people for no reason, like baby. I don't wanna be your friend. Oh, and then red flags in relationships. If he calls himself a narcissist, like, boy, why? Like, you just want to be narcissistic. Like, that's so weird to me. Like, boys actually do that. They be on their Instagram talking about, I'm such, like, stop acting like that. And when he just always talking about how he emotionally unavailable, that's, uh, they maybe by no goals in life. Like, he's like, they always come from they want to be in the NBA. Like, now I'm not saying that can't happen. But sometimes, some of y'all need to be for real. Like, come on. You're on the bench. You're on the bench. Come on, be for real. What's next for you? Thoughts on college? I don't think you need to go to college to be successful. My mom is a prime example, did not finish college. Has a successful business, like you do not need to go to college to be successful at all. Most people who graduate from college end up with making like only like 30, 40, 50K a year. Like in my eyes, there's nothing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just feel like you gotta own your own business. Like I'm being for real. If you're gonna to go to college, on the business too, like even on the side, even if you don't quit after you graduate and get your own job or whatever, I just like on your own business is something everybody needs to do if I'm being for real, y'all. But everybody, at some time, everybody can own their own business because we still need people working at McDonald's. I still on my top brain. But hey, I saw this TikTok of somebody talking about everybody don't need to, y'all need to stop trying to make your own clothing business and do the because we still need people working at fast food. Y'all, I did not like that TikTok at all because stop trying to discourage people from making their own business. I don't like that. Like, that is true. We still need people working at fast food. But it, it, not everyone has the same thrive to even continue a business so people could go do their own business. But at the end of the day, not everyone is going to go all the way up because not everyone has the same thrive. So I just feel like stop discouraging people. Like, I encourage you to own your own business and get that thrive because, you know, not everyone's going to do it. Like, that's just real. Not everyone's going to do it. Maintaining your peace, y'all. I'm like the freaking, like, one thing about me is I would freaking go to, like, you're irritating. Bye. That's probably a problem. Maybe I should communicate that. But, baby, you got to go immediately. Well, that's how I maintain my peace. I ghost. And I don't post on that social media as often. I don't post my business on social media. Like, y'all posting y'all business on social media. And you wonder if you're in your business. You could be posting on social media. And then y'all be posting stuff like, some like some y'all be just I don't know y'all be posting stuff. Some people oh my god some stuff that people post it be so annoying I be unfollowing them on Instagram because y'all be posting like annoying quotes and y'all toxic and stuff like that. I don't really like that like that. So sometimes y'all be just joking and I understand people are joking. I understand people be dead dead for real. And if you dead for real, you dead got to go. So I did unfollow you for real. So yeah. That's how I maintain my peace. I don't follow people that irritate me. 
I ghost people that irritate me. I block people that irritate me. Like, if you irritate me, I just thought you had to immediately go. Like, I literally, like, there's nothing I can do for you. Say bye. What's my zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. I'm not really into that zodiac sign stuff. I don't really believe in that astrology stuff. But at the same time, I do. Because, like, Pisces men, don't get me started. Aquarius men, don't get me started. But I'm different. I don't. Gemini's. I'm not really into, like, zodiac or whatever. But there's certain signs I'd be like, mm. But if you're, like, a Gemini, I'm not going to, like, block you or anything. I know everybody say that, but I'm, like, dead serious for real. Like, I have real life experiences. Where do I shop for clothes? I mainly shop on Fashion Nova. Um, literally, my all my cargo pants, baby. I love cargo pants. I'm ready to get into cargos. But, baby, Fashion Nova for the graphic tees and the jeans and the cargos. Fashion Nova is where it's at. And the dresses, I don't really get dresses from Fashion Nova. But, yeah. Now, if you're talking about Shein, I do not get graphic tees from Shein. Like, I never, ever in my once in my life got graphic tees from Shein. Because once... Y'all yeah, be liking them, whatever, but I just feel like they poor quality. I be seeing y'all with them poor quality. I do get some jackets from them, they good quality. Jeans, shorts from them, nice quality. I got like a couple of dresses from them, they good quality. But I mainly shop fashion over, so. My goals for next school year, y'all. Next school year, I'm out this building at 12. Like, or 11, something, something like that. Maybe I'm out. A few classes, then I'm out. That's my goal, be out the day. I, I'm so tired of school. I took my opportunity and I went already. I'm having an internship next school year, so I'm leaving half a school day. Yeah, I'm gonna go there for real, like, baby. Next school year, I'm literally only taking my college classes, like AP, um, psych, dual credit, English, dual credit, um, pre calc. That's it. Oh, and be a TA, which is a teacher's assistant. I'm not even in high school for real. I basically already graduated, y'all. So, yeah. <laughs> Does journaling benefit you or do y'all just do it for the aesthetic? Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I do not journal every night. I only journal when I'm mad or if something makes me mad. Like, cause it actually does work for me. Now, I'm, I don't know if some people do it cause they think it's cute and aesthetic for their YouTube video, for their Instagram, whatever. But for me, I do it for real, for real. I'm not gonna lie to y'all say, oh, my night routine, I do it every night. Every morning, nah, I do when I'm mad or something makes me mad for real life. That's when I do it. That's when I do it. And it actually works. Now, I do believe I should start doing it every day. Or maybe not every day. Maybe I should not do something like that. I don't know. I don't think I should make my journal full of, like, negativity. But it do be making me feel better. Because I'd be, like, so mad. And then I'd be, like, not it no more. And sometimes I'd be, like, girl, it wasn't that big of a deal. But it do work for me. Now, I don't know. But I can't speak for all the rest of y'all. But for me, it do do I take honors classes? I've been taking, I only take honors classes like every single class I've taken since freshman year. Honors. If it's not, if it wasn't honors, it was AP. If it wasn't honors or AP, it was dual credit. <sighs> that's just the type of school I go to. That's why I go to a selective enrollment school. If you don't know what that is, that's a school where they selectively enroll you. It's a magnet school. That's what it is. I love languages. It's, um, I love words of affirmation. But at the same time, I think people lie sometimes. I don't know, y'all. Quality time, like, all that. Like, I really mess with it. So I might sit talking stages. For me, y'all, I have, like, oh, my God, like, um, it really changed for me. So I used to be, like, um, if we talk more than, like, two, three months, then I'm done talking. But I don't think that's true for real. Because imagine you only... You somebody for three months, and now you feel like y'all finna be together for life. Like, you, you dead for real. But I just feel like, now, if you're hitting a year, baby, you pushing it. You're really pushing it. But I just feel like it should be longer than three months, less than seven. Because you just know somebody for three months, and now you think y'all finna be forever. Like, you don't even know them for real. Like, if I, if I have a friend, and I've been friends with for three months, I would be like, yeah, we just started being friends. That's why I feel like on stock stages. There's other questions that I did not get to, but um, thank you for watching this video. Please forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you so much. See you in the next video. Bye. I did it all.